As you can tell from the title, I am making some big moves and I want to talk about it as well as about some other new features that we have launched in Remotion and how the business side is going. So if you are wondering how Remotion is doing, this is the video for you. Let's get the big news out of the way. I have recently quit my job and I am now working full time on Remotion. For those who didn't know, until recently I worked one and a half days a week for an agency called Accelera and I want to give them a huge shout out because they've been supportive all the way, um, are also fans of Remotion and uh, they allowed me to stay flexible and if a critical bug surfaced I could switch to Remotion and uh, do my things and uh, they recognized that this is the best for me and although we both have a tear in our eyes um, we still support each other so it was a happy ending and now I am moving on full steam with Remotion I'm gonna talk a bit more about what my plans going forward are um, but before that um, let's take a look at a few new features that we have launched in Remotion the biggest one of them being Remotion Lambda, um, which was released in 3.0, our third major release, which uh, essentially is like the last puzzle piece in our vision for creating video apps. So, so far it was possible to make the videos programmatically and also embed them in a website, but what was really hard for most of the people who wanted to build apps was to create a scalable render infrastructure. Although you could use server-side rendering and uh, that would work, as soon as you wanted to render multiple videos uh, in parallel, you had, a, you had to set up a cluster um, and scheduling and all that stuff and you know, this isn't easy. So we've made a scalable solution, Remotion Lambda, that you can plug into your app and set up um, and get running within a few hours and uh, yeah that makes it a lot easier to create video apps definitely our biggest milestone and I've worked on it for over a year it was I think more than a thousand commits it was like so much work and to let it out of the bag oh my god such a big relief. Also in 3.0 we have introduced something called parallel rendering and encoding which means that while Google Chrome is still screenshotting all those frames the encoding process can already start even though not all screenshots have taken yet. And also we have completely revamped the server side rendering APIs to make use of that as well and to give you a better developer experience. So a complete overhaul on that. We've also introduced a new folder component so that you can organize your compositions in the Remotion preview. If your Remotion code has an error in it and causes an exception, we now symbolicate all the errors using source maps. Even if you render it on Lambda, we fetch the source map from the S3 bucket where your website resides in and show you the error locally. We have streamlined how you can create a new Remotion project. On the website you can select a template and copy an npm yarn or pnpm uh, command. You can preview how the video looks like and you can also now open the template in Stackblitz and create your video right in the web browser. 
and uh, if you are doing that then another new feature is coming in handy and uh, that is that you can now collapse the left sidebar of Remotion so that you have more space for previewing your video. If you want to embed another video in your video and want to play that inside the Remotion player, you might want to make use of the new Remotion preload APIs which allow you to preload audio and video so that when you want to play them in the player they are ready straight away without having to load. Another new feature is that now if you are using the Node.js server-side rendering APIs that you can uh, cancel a render. This was previously only possible via the CLI if you would just quit the remotion process but that is of course not an option if you have an HTTP server running. We have also fine-tuned dozens of other little things, fixed so many bugs since then, um, made over 16 releases since uh, 3.0 came out and uh, if you had any kind of problems with uh, remotion before check if we have fixed it because uh, now I think you should be hitting much less road bumps. Now let's talk about business updates and our next steps. Like I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have quit my job and uh, without that salary safety net, um, it is now more interesting for us to uh, accept some investors. Um, all the way since we have started Remotion, many VCs, angels, um, customers, friends, uh, supporters of uh, Remotion have showed interest in investing in Remotion and asking around, they still are. So we are looking to raise a small round this year that keeps us going for the next 12 to 18 months. And um, yeah, it's not going to be a big round in the millions uh, like you see from other startups but uh, one that just uh, gives us a bit more runway so that we can hopefully develop a profitable business. This brings us to our next topic, revenue. In February, when I made the last update video, I said that Remotion was making $5,000 a year from licensing fees and now four months later that has grown to $9,500 dollars per year in licensing fees. So almost a 100% uh, growth. I am pretty pleased with that and if we are continuing to grow like this then uh, we are getting closer and closer to sustainability. And like I said we are also planning a small financing round to bridge us towards that. New people! As you know Remotion currently consists of me, my co-founder Mehmet, Contributors like Shankadeep, and now we are getting our first intern. Patrick is going to join us two weeks from now. He is currently studying computer science at the University of Zurich, and uh, everybody who is doing that has to do an internship at some point in their bachelor's degree. Uh, I had to do it as well, and uh, it was a great experience for me finally getting some uh, real life experience in a company and um, yeah I had a great time overall and it was all my, my goal that I could uh, also offer such an internship and uh, we are finally able to do it. Um, the contract is signed, the university has approved it and uh, he's going to spend the whole summer with us and uh, we're gonna do a lot of hacking um, and uh, he's gonna work on Remotion as well as make some templates. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this, it's gonna be a great summer. Also this week I am going to React Summit in Amsterdam. This is going to be my first conference ever and I am looking so forward, I'm so excited um, to finally experience that. I am able to go because Remotion was nominated for an OS Awards um, at the conference and uh, so I got a ticket for free and uh, yeah, we even have a chance to um, win an award or at least uh, attend the 
of our ceremony and maybe I'm also going to see um, one of you there if you're going come say hello write me a line and uh, I hope to make some new friends there also I almost forgot we collaborated with Fireship if you don't know Fireship really what are you doing with your life this is one of the best channels for programmers here on YouTube every video is educational and entertaining and uh, one of those videos also featured Remotion uh, me and William did together the intro and then Fireship did the rest of the tutorial and the video now has almost half a million views this was honestly so good for us so many people tried out Remotion because of that and uh, yeah I'm really grateful that this happened um, great PR and we had a lot of fun doing it so let's summarize everything we launched Remotion Lambda um, I am now working full-time on Remotion we are nominated for an award uh, an intern is joining us this summer we collaborated with Fireship and our revenue has almost doubled in the last four months really happy how everything is going I think we are one step closer to fulfilling a dream um, and really grateful for all of that thanks a lot for following this update and I'm going to keep you up to date um, once in a while and if you like that video make sure to like and subscribe because it helps out a small YouTube channel like that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!